Hey Aquarius, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is going to be your monthly reading for April 2022 for anyone with Aquarius placements or anyone else who is guided to see this reading here on YouTube. All right, so this reading could resonate at other times if you're guided other, other times, but it is an April 2022 reading. Um, as I come into this reading and we're starting to do the bigger readings like this where I do the first steps because I, I am a card popper and it takes a long time to pop all the cards out, right? You'll be seeing the second round go out, okay? But for now, this cuts down the time a little bit and everyone seems to really like it on the longer readings. This is a monthly reading. It's for the whole month. I feel like you could be dealing with a cancer or it could just be that you're moving forward after being stuck after having some kind of an argument okay stuck energy as we come into it grieving energy is now ending so you've gotten through a period of grief um there's a new beginning on the horizon here with the ace of cups and the fool in reverse there's a decision being made contemplation going on somebody's ruminating on something it has to do with the ten of pentacles in reverse something that happened that kind of turned your world upside down um we have a king of uh, cups and we have a queen of swords we also have the five of chalices here. oh i already said that that's the grieving this same exact energy to me somebody's been grieving and they're coming out of it all right, let's get right into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for the Six of Swords, Six of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody does want to balance something out, even though it's been stuck or not moving forward. Tell me about the Four of Swords reversed with the Five of Chalices reversed. This is some time we've been grieving the lovers. Okay, so for most of you, this is a love situation. All right, and there's been grieving going on. You could be dealing with a Gemini, a Cancer, an Aries, um, a... Can Cancer Pisces or Scorpio, a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And that's just all the signs I'm seeing, okay, for those of you that want those signs. All right, let's talk about the Ten of Pentacles reverse. What happened here? Ten of Pentacles reverse. What do we need to know about it? Okay, yeah, absolutely. So the Queen of Swords felt there was no success, so she left this partnership or she cut this partnership out. Um, why did you think there was no success, I wonder? Um, let's look at the King of Chalices. What do we need to know about the King of Chalices? Yeah, Queen of Wands reversed. Okay, so there could have been a third party um, interfering here. Um, tell me about the, the full reversed. emperor reverse so some this is aries energy this could have been um aries so either way this could have been an aries feminine or a masculine that interfered in this relationship devil in reverse this could be someone who just wouldn't let these two alone to you know have a relationship possibly tell me about the full reversed and the emperor reversed uh this also could have been an aries that was trying to control this situation they could be feminine or masculine Tell me about the full reverse. I mean, the emperor reverse with the full reverse. Let's do both. Emperor reverse, full reversed. Emperor reverse, full reverse. Just one or two is all I'm taking. Three of pentacles. Three people working with three. We're not doing that. So I do feel like somebody has severed ties. The queen of swords has severed ties because she felt this relationship wasn't successful because it was third party. Tell me about the two of pentacles in the middle. Whoa, that's way too many. One or two. The two of pentacles in the middle. Nope, too many. I'm not even going to look at them. Two of pentacles. What do we need here, please? Okay, three of swords reversed. Again, three, three, three everywhere. All right, so somebody is contemplating, thinking about, I feel like somebody um, is losing the third party or getting rid of the third party, whether it's on purpose or losing them for whatever reason. Tell me about the two of pentacles one more time here. This also feels to me like someone's contemplating this. Remember, we started with the three of pentacles reversed. And then the chariot comes in and moves forward. Is someone wanting to come forward and talk or something like that? 
Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. What is somebody thinking about here or trying to choose between here? This could be someone trying to choose. Two of Pentacles. What, it, what are we talking about? Yeah, to complete a cycle here. All right, so a cycle has been on hold here. And you can see that here with the full reverse. Somebody's been trying to control it so it can't close out for whatever reason. They don't want to lose something or somebody in this situation, so they're just trying to perpetuate it. Um, tell me about the Queen of Swords here. And somebody's considering just putting an end to it. So is this could be the Queen of Swords can, like contemplating ending a partnership because she doesn't see success there because it's third party. That's what I really feel is going on here. Tell me about the um, Queen of Swords. What do we need to know, Queen of Swords? Queen of Swords, please. Three of Swords, third party. So here's the thing. We've got the Queen of Swords who is leaving behind a relationship she sees it as third party she sees it as unhealthy she doesn't see it panning out and she wants balance in her life and even though this has been painful her healing comes when she lets this cycle close out so what is the eight of uh, i'm sorry the ace of chalices here ace of chalices what is the ace of chalices what do we need to know about it yeah the knight of pentacles reversed okay this is not moving forward um having our own new beginning but not moving forward with anybody i feel tell me about yeah a decision to not move forward wow all right so let's look at the queen of wands reversed with the king of chalices what do we need to know queen of wands reversed with the king of chalices down here in the corner anything at all whoa that's a lot i can't take all that tell me about the king of chalices in the upright with the queen of wands reversed please yeah okay so we have the four of swords reversed and we have the seven of wands so we have somebody here who um is defending themselves okay i feel like somebody is taking an action to defend themselves after they were laying low so somebody was laying low with this and not saying much and now they're coming in and they want to fight for it so i feel like we have somebody here who all of a sudden wants to take an action to fight for something and make it right but this other person's already healed from it so in other words, Queen of Swords has already moved on from this third party situation. And then this person comes in and is like, hey, let's work this out. And she's like, what are you talking about? I have already made my decision. I, you know, I've already started my new beginning without you in it. Tell me about the Queen of Swords and the, um, yeah, look at that. Right away, the Knight of Cups flies out of the deck in reverse. Rejection. I'm not interested. Um, because I have been through enough Five of Cups. I've already been through a healing process because of this. All right. So here's the thing. Aquarius Feminines, you just don't want it. You don't want to, the BS. You don't want the third party. You know what this person's about. And you are just not interested. All right. Sorry, guys. I wish that I had a more positive reading for you guys. And as far as the mascul masculines go, this reading could be the same message for you guys as well, right? Um, whether you're involved with a feminine or a masculine. All right. Let's get a little information here. Angels, what do we need to know? I do see a new beginning coming in. It's just like on your own. It's like I'm doing my own thing, right? I'm going after my no own beginning. I don't want to move together with somebody who's already put me through hell. Yeah, the strength to have the freedom. And that's the thing. This is not easy. Look, I mean, it's heartbreaking, but she's going to have to say no thank you, right? She doesn't like it. 
the strength to have the freedom here and leave the third party behind. It just doesn't want, you know, I don't want this. Going and purifying yourself, you know, getting away from this. This strength to get this freedom brings in purification for you. It's going to help you heal your heart. And it's going to help you have more fun in your life because nobody feels good being put in a third party. Nobody. Anyway, guys, so sorry it wasn't more, you know, rainbows and puppy dogs. Please do comment down below if it's your reading. Support each other. If it's not, please do support each other. Um, if you guys are commenting down below, people have been through pain, right? Anyway, please do like the reading. It helps the channel and the weeklies will be tomorrow. So hopefully if this wasn't your story, you will have a weekly come through for you tomorrow. Have a great month, guys. Bye.